Hello, this is R.J. Deacon reading the Supreme Court of the United States Opinion Syllabus in Nisrallah v. Barr, Attorney General. Certiorari to the United States Court of Appeals for the 11th Circuit. Argued March 2, 2020. Decided June 1, 2020. Under federal immigration law, non-citizens who commit certain crimes are removable from the United States. During removal proceedings, a non-citizen who demonstrates a likelihood of torture in the designated country of removal is entitled to relief under the International Convention Against Torture, CAT, and may not be removed to that country. If an immigration judge orders removal and denies CAT relief, the non-citizen may appeal both orders to the Board of Immigration Appeals and then to a federal court of appeals. But... If the citizen has committed any crime specified in 8 U.S.C. section 1252A2 cap C, the scope of judicial review of the removal order is limited to constitutional and legal challenges. See section 1252A2 cap D. The government sought to remove petitioner Nidal Khalid Nisrala after he pled guilty to receiving stolen property. Nisrallah applied for cat relief to prevent his removal to Lebanon. The immigration judge ordered Nisrallah removed and granted cat relief. On appeal, the Board of Immigration Appeals vacated the cat relief order and ordered Nisrallah removed to Lebanon. The 11th Circuit declined to review Nisrallah's factual challenges to the cat order because Nisrallah had committed a Section 1252A2 cap C crime and circuit precedent precluded judicial review of factual challenges to both the final order and removal of the cat order in such cases. The Supreme Court held the decision below is reversed, and Justice Kavanaugh delivered the opinion of the court. Sections 1252A2 cap C and cap D do not preclude judicial review of a non-citizen's factual challenge to a cat order. Three interlocking statutes establish that cat orders may be reviewed together with final orders of removal in a court of appeals. The Legal Immigration Reform and Immigrant Responsibility Act of 1996 authorizes non-citizens to obtain direct review of a final order of removal in a court of appeals, section 1252A1, and requires that all challenges arising from the removal proceeding be consolidated for review. Section 252b9. The Foreign Affairs Reform and Restructuring Act of 1998, FARRA, implements Article 3 of CAT and provides for judicial review of CAT claims as part of the review of final order of removal. Section 2242d. And the Real ID Act of 2005 clarifies that final orders of removal and CAT orders may be reviewed only in the Courts of Appeals, Sections 1252A, 4, and 5. Sections 1252A, 2, Cap, C, and D preclude judicial review of factual challenges only to final orders of removal. A CAT order is not a final order of removal, which in this context is defined as an order concluding that the alien is deportable or ordering deportation. Section 1101A47 Cap A, nor does a CAT order merge into a final order of removal because a CAT order does not affect the validity of a final order of removal. See uh, INS versus Chadha. FARRA provides that a CAT order is reviewable as part of the review of a final order of removal not that it is the same as or affects the validity of a final order of removal. Had Congress wished to preclude judicial review of factual challenges to CAT orders, it could have easily done so. The standard of review for factual challenges to CAT orders is substantial evidence, i.e., the agency's finding of facts are conclusive unless any reasonable adjudicator would be compelled to conclude to the contrary. Section 1252b4 cap b. The government insists that the statute supplies no judicial review of factual challenges to CAT orders, but its arguments are unpersuasive. First, the holding in FODI versus INS depends on an outdated interpretation of final orders of deportation, 
and so does not control here. Second, the government argues that Section 1252A1 supplies judicial review only of final orders of removal, and if a CAT order is not merged into that final order, then no statute authorizes review of the CAT claim. But both FARRA and the Real ID Act provide for direct review of CAT orders in the courts of appeals. Third, the government's assertion that Congress would not bar review of factual challenges to a removal order and allow such challenges to a CAT order ignores the importance of adherence to the statutory text, as well as the good reason Congress had for distinguishing the two. The facts that rendered the non-citizen removable are often not in serious dispute, while the issues related to a CAT order will not typically have been litigated prior to the alien's removal proceedings. Fourth, the government's policy argument that judicial review of factual components of a CAT order would unduly delay removal proceedings has not been borne out in practice in those circuits that have allowed factual challenges to CAT orders. Fifth, the government fears that a decision allowing factual review of CAT orders would lead to factual challenges to other orders in the courts of appeals, but orders denying discretionary relief under Section 1252A2 Cat B are not affected by this decision, and the question whether factual challenges to statutory withholding orders under Section 1231B3 Cap A are subject to judicial review is not presented here. The decision below is reversed. Justice Kavanaugh delivered the opinion of the court in which Chief Justice Roberts and Justices Ginsburg, Breyer, Sotomayor, Kagan, and Gorsuch joined. Justice Thomas filed a dissenting opinion in which Justice Alito joined. Thank you for listening. If you'd like to get a hold of the podcast, we can be reached at rhodesscholar80 at gmail.com. That's R-O-A-D-S and the number 80 or on Twitter at Court Syllabus.